Hi guys, today I'm bringing you a super cool tutorial on creating 2D to 3D effects using parallax editing. Here, you don't need to use any 3D editing tools. With just a few simple steps, you can achieve scene layout. And without further ado, let's get started. First, we need to find some suitable pictures like this. Then, extract the lasers we need to use separately. There are several ways to achieve this. The most direct way is the cutout method. I would recommend using an online cutout website like Remove Background. Drag the pictures we found into it. Wait for a moment, and the background will be automatically removed. You can further refine the cutout details using the Erase button. Once you are satisfied with the result, click Download to save it locally. This method is very suitable for image with clear subjects. Well, the second method is to find new vector graphics. To that end, we can use the website FreePick. Enter the keywords on the page and look for materials with transparent backgrounds in the results. The last method is to use AI to generate the image. For example, we go to a website like this. Select the image generation on the interface. Customize the number of the image on the left. Select the image dimensions. Then enter a prompt in the box. Click Generate, and after a while, you will see three images. Move the mouse to the image you are satisfied with. Click this icon twice. Choose No Background here. And click Download to save it locally. Now we switch to VidPoplogger and create a new project. Import all the materials. Find this icon and click on it to add several overlay tracks. Then drag the sky material onto the video track and the other materials onto the overlay tracks one by one. Pay attention to the order of laser placement. Adjust the durations to align them. Then find the transform area in the inspector and adjust their scale and position one by one, making these lasers in a relatively balanced and hierarchical state in the picture. Once finished, it, find the motion icon in the toolbar to edit animations for each laser. First is the sky. We just need to click at the keyframe on the first frame. Adjust the size and the position of the box. And then click at the keyframe on the last frame. And move the box and make it larger. Add a velocity curve for this keyframe. This way, we can quickly complete it. Click Apply to enter to the main interface. We continue to edit animations for the mountain laser. Click at the keyframe on the first frame. Adjust the position and the size of the box. Move the playhead a little bit farther to generate the second keyframe without adjustment. Add another keyframe on the last frame. Adjust the size and the position of the box to create a zooming effect. Similarly, add a velocity curve for this keyframe and click apply to apply the adjustments. Use the same principle to edit animations for the house laser. Finally, added positional animation for the character laser. Adjust the size of the box to cover the entire screen for this keyframe. Then, select the subsequent keyframe. Adjust the position of the frame without selecting the character. Add a velocity curve for it. Click at the keyframe on the last frame to maintain the state. This way, all laser animations are added. To make the lasers more harmonious and lateral in the picture, we also need to unify their tones. Find the color icon in the toolbar and click it to enter the color correction interface. Here I want the whole picture to have a warm tone. 
so we drag the temperature slider towards orange. Based on this, adjust values such as exposure, contrast, saturation, highlights, and others. While previewing the picture to fill the balance of colors in the picture, once satisfied, click Apply to apply the adjustment. Then we select another material and similarly enter the color and filter at the panel to adjust the temperature. After completing all the color adjustment, you can also soften a specific material. Go to the inspector and check Enable Image Closing for it. Balance these values. And that's it. Alright, that's it for today's video. If you want to see more interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you soon in the next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.